Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22623.746. We have another build for the beta channel, so I think Microsoft is working more and focusing more on the beta channel, and we have exciting new things in the beta channel, which we're gonna talk about in this video. Don't forget that in the article below in the description, I also have a full explanation about the beta channel, why the beta channel is divided into two different builds, and so on. If you enjoy videos like these, where we talk about about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before continuing with the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by SwiftDo PDF. SwiftDo PDF is a versatile PDF program with a wide array of useful features, including creating, converting, merging, compressing, and signing PDF documents. The software is really easy to use. You can edit and add pictures to your PDF documents in a few seconds. You also have converting and compression options as well as security settings regarding the protection of your PDF document. For everyday PDF tasks, I recommend you try SwiftDo PDF from the link in the video's description. Thanks to Swift PDF for this sponsorship. Let's continue with the video. So as I've said, the build for today is 22623.746. In this build, we only have one change, but it's a huge one because the new system tray rearrange system is coming to the beta channel from the dev channel so we will have it now on the beta channel of course this is rolling only to some insiders but if you have vive tool set up on your computer all you need to do is to open up cmds administrator run cmds administrator and here you're going to have to copy and paste in this command which will be in the article below in the video description and just restart the system after you run this command and you should have the new system tray rearrange system i'm going to restart the system myself and show you the results and now after the restart you'll be able to notice the new system tray with the new animations new rearrange system System. and also nice little things like that which I love very much about this new system tray. A few things that you should know about it is that you can have maximum five items on a horizontal row. It has rounded corners, as I've said, animations that go hand in hand with the Windows 11 experience. So I'm very glad that we finally have this new system tray rearrange system also on the beta channel, which could mean that we can have it pretty soon, maybe in a few months on the main release. So don't forget to check out the article below in the description for the command that you can run with Vive tool in order to enable this new rearrange system on the beta channel. Other than that, on the beta channel, we have some fixes regarding the tablet optimized taskbar. So for example, Microsoft fixed an issue where the gesture to slide the start menu open from the bottom of the screen using touch might stop following your finger. Of course, this is only for touch devices. And also regarding the system tray, they fixed an issue for insiders with automatically hide the taskbar enabled where right-clicking app icons in the system tray was unexpectedly making the taskbar dismiss. And we also have some fixes for both Bail and 22 2006-1 and 2006-3. As I've said, the difference between those two is in the article below in the description. First of all, Microsoft enabled the MS App Installer Uniform Resource Identifier to work for the Desktop App Installer. And also, Microsoft fixed an issue that affects the Windows search service indexing process is slow when you use the service. So now that should be fixed. Of course, you can check out the article below in the description for known issues regarding this build. So this was the build for the beta channel, a pretty small build, but for me, it's huge because Microsoft Microsoft introduced this new system tray on the beta channel. So as, as I've said, this is good news because Microsoft is maybe going to implement this in a few months on the main release as well. But of course, if you don't have it enabled, as I've said, you can enable it using Vive tool. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.